Hey all, it is me, Ace Pilot 109, also known as Captain John, and I'm finally out here with an RC aviation video. But this one's a little bit different because I am now going to be trying out this RGRG, -RG, which stands for Radio Guided Rocket Glider. So I'm just gonna call it the RG Squared. Now, this glider, as you can see, is on a rocket launcher mount. That is because it is rocket powered. And the idea with this system is to actually test to see if I can build a reusable rocket plane so that it doesn't blow itself up. That is why it has such a strange design. And also, this aircraft only has an elevator. There is no ailerons, no rudder. So there's only pitch control, and uh, well, that's it. So, hoping for the best here. Oh my goodness, would you look at that? It's in one piece. Let's take a look at this. Okay. Okay. Wow, now if that doesn't earn your subscription, I don't know what will. So go ahead and like and subscribe because that was sick. Now, now that we've had our first successful flight, let me explain some of the little design characteristics of this airplane and answer some of the questions you probably got. So number one, why do you only have an elevator? Well, this aircraft is a prototype. To be honest, it wasn't going to have any control surfaces. It was just gonna be a non-RC glider. So that's why I just wanted to have some control and clearly that was enough to have a relatively successful flight. That was awesome. Other than the beginning, that was a little sketchy when it started going straight up, but I was able to save it, which would not have been possible without elevator control. What is all this wood doing up here? Now these little wood things, what they allow me to do, just pull each one out. Two of them are holding it in, and then the last one locks it in. And now I should be able to just simply remove the motor. And there is the aircraft ready to receive a fresh new power pod, which would once again slide in and lock in just like this one. All right, question number three. What is that weird tinfoil thing in the hole in the back of the airplane? But all these motors have a black powder charge, and this black powder charge has been the Achilles heel of any rocket powered plane I've ever built because it will blow out the front of the airplane. So obviously when your electronics are in the front of the plane, the last thing you want to do is send a black powder fiery charge right into them and destroy your airplane and the electronics. But as you can see, this is the back of the airplane. The blue is the tinfoil and the black is the foam, and the red is the rocket, and the orange is the black powder charge. So as you can see, it all gets pushed forwards, hits that angle bit, and comes out the bottom of the airplane, and then gets sucked out. And that will protect the airplane. And as you can see right here, you can see the mark from the black powder charge hitting the foil, but the foam is completely intact, and, well, it could fly again. Well, everybody, that has been it for me, Ace Pilot 109, also known as Captain John, with this rocket plane video. But if you want to see more, please let me know. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to support the channel. And I will see you in the next video. Probably more stuff with rockets because it's awesome. Thanks, everybody.